All right, guys, welcome back to Layton vs. Right. We're heading uh, to talk to the storyteller. We can't seem to get this door open, though. Inviting someone to visit you only to lock them out? That's a bit rude. Just a moment, Luke. If you look closer, you'll see there's a puzzle built in there. Oh, we got a puzzle. All right. We're gonna have a lot of puzzles. Puzzle 36, decipher the door. Okay. Here's a panel of numbers. The numbers range between one and six. Touching the buttons on the touch screen will increase and decrease the numbers. Arrange the numbers to read 3333. Three, three, three. You can do it in only four four turns. Um Jeez, I don't know. Oh. So I just click the buttons. Uh-oh. Ugh, this is weird. Well, two threes there. Ugh, okay. So we had something going on there. So we have threes at the end there. Make those two go down. Oh, shoot. Oh, now make all those go up. Ugh, this is really weird. Let's see. Okay. Um. Oh, what the? Okay, I guess that worked. You gotta use the triangles. Come Sorry you guys will be able to see that in the bottom. To be solved. There's not much to see on there, so. We got the gate open, that's all that matters. That should open the door. It would seem that we have proven ourselves worthy. Labyrinthia's creator is waiting for us inside. The creator of this town. I wonder what he intends to say. Are you alright, Luke? I imagine you must be a little nervous. H who, me? Well, to be honest, I suppose I am. Just a little. But don't worry, Professor. I can do this. Let's go. Let's meet the storyteller. Very well. Muster your courage. We're going in. Right you are, Professor. All right, let's go speak to him. really creepy. I've been waiting for you, Herschel Layton. I believe I should say, it is an honor, Mr. Storyteller. You're the creator of Labyrinthia. But why did you call the professor here? I have summoned you, so that I may ask you why you are here. I beg your pardon? What are you talking about? Mm. In writing the story, I provide everything, and in turn, take everything away. I give each person a story, and weave their intertwining webs of fate. However, it would appear that interlopers have found their way into the story. The two of you. What? to say that my presence here was not written in your story. Precisely. And so I must ask you, exactly how did you find your way into this world? In truth, we found ourselves here somewhat inadvertently. We were brought here by a book. 
a book called the Historia Labyrinthia. I am led to believe it was you who wrote that book. Surely you cannot deny it. It would appear I have found it. The source of the corruption within my story. Corruption? In other words, you consider our presence to be a hindrance to your story. Is that correct? Not only you. There was another man who tried to change the course of my story. Ah! You mean Carmina Accidenti? Carmine. So, there is a connection between him and the two of you after all. Oops! Your presence here is, shall I say, a slight inconvenience. The story of Labyrinthia is about to take a turn towards its grand finale. Grand finale? Indeed, a conclusion that requires a climax of epic proportions. The identity of the great witch Bazella is made public. She is tried in the court and finally destroyed. At last, peace will be restored to the town. The final scenario is close at hand. The identity of the great witch? Do you mean... Oh. Oh, we're back with them. It's true that the townsfolk look at me in a different way. And the reason for that is because... I am the storyteller's daughter. You're what? A spella. You're the storyteller's daughter? I didn't see that coming. That's weird. When I first came down to the town, everyone was friendly. Perhaps they thought it... <laughs> Sorry, I'm kicking the camera. I'm trying to adjust myself here. They got to know me things would go well for them. That was the impression I had. Hmm. That sounds like the kind of thing people would probably do. But obviously not me. I wouldn't do anything like that. No one's accusing you of anything, Maya. But unfortunately, things didn't work out the way people hoped they would. Hmm. Well, people should realize that good things don't come easy. Then one day, someone just happened to bump into me in the town, and I was knocked over. Later that night, that same person was attacked by her witch that and killed by her magic. I don't know whether it was just a coincidence or not, but after that, everyone's attitude towards me changed. They started saying things like, it's best to keep away from her or you'll have a bad story written about you. All because I'm the storyteller's daughter. What's the storyteller thinking? What do you mean? Well, he has his daughter stuck in a place like this, and if he didn't write such a bad story, she wouldn't have to suffer like this. You have a good point there, Maya. Anyway, the investigation has only just begun. Espel, if it's okay with you, I'd like to ask you a few more questions. Of course, I'd like to help in any way I can. I've got to gather as much information as I can. This might be difficult for you to answer, but why are you not living with the storyteller? I mean, with your father. I did live with him before. We lived together on the edge of the town, in the storyteller's tower. The storyteller's tower? When I was little, he was very kind, and always listened to what I had to say. But then at some point or other, he started to become distant. If you think about it, I guess it's only natural. Because he had to write the story for every single person in the town. A spell. As it became busier and busier, I was left alone in the tower. And that's the reason. I decided to leave home with Eve and live in the town. I stayed with Aunt Patty and helped out of the bakery. Now you two at the shop, but too, but my dad. What's the deal with the storyteller? I can't believe he'd write a story where his own daughter is the great with Bazella. Maybe the professor will be able to find out the storyteller's true motives. And what about Patty? Does she know anything about your past? Have you ever told her that you're the storyteller's daughter? Yes, she knows. When the other people in town started avoiding me, Aunt Patty was the only one who stood by me the whole time. Yeah, Patty's always looking out for you. There's so much I have to thank her for. It's been five years since I left my dad and started living with Aunt Patty. She's always been so kind. She's been like a mother to me. Now that you mention it, what about your real mother, Espella? Or r real mother, Espella? She, actually, I, I can't remember anything about her. According to my dad, she died in an accident when I was still young. And that's really all I know. He didn't tell me any more than that. I see. Espella, we believe in you. There's no way you could be the Great Witch Bazella. That's right. That's why we'll find the real Great Witch. Witch, sorry. 
The real Grey Witch. But the Grey Witch is only a character of legend. How could you possibly find her? Well, admittedly, admittedly, at the moment, we have no real leads. Actually, to be honest, we know, we know next to nothing about Labyrinthia. We were supposed to have been living with you for five years now. And that memory turned out to be completely phony. Do you have any ideas at all, Spella? Anything that could, that could give us a clue? I guess it's a lot to ask. All magical incidents are thoroughly investigated by the Knights of the Inquisition. And if there were any clues as to the whereabouts of the Great Witch, then I believe they would have found them. I guess you're right. As far as I know, there's not a single incident that has remained unsolved by the Inquisitors. Wait a minute, that's not right. What is it, Maya? The part about there being no unsolved incidents left. What? Last night, me and Luke read in the High Inquisitor Dark Law. Wait, what? You saw the High Inquisitor Dark Law? Yep, she said she was investigating some kind of incident with magic. She said that it took place three months ago, I think. Apparently, it's the only incident that has remained unsolved. An unsolved incident. Oh! Now that you mentioned it, I remember being, hearing rumors about such a case. The only magic incident in Labyrinthia has re remained unsolved, huh? A spell about the incident. Could you tell us about it in more detail? I'll have to ask you to stop right there, Defender. Visiting time is up. You're to leave immediately. Oh, no. No way! We just got to the good part! Mr. Ryan Maya, I really don't know much about that incident. But perhaps you could try asking an Inquisitor about it. Okay, Spella. Thanks for the help. Alright, we'll see you again real soon. Keep your spirits up, Spella. Thank you. Take care, both of you. Oh, I'm done with that voice. Thank you. Oh, or not. Mr. Ray, Maya, they're both doing so much for me. I wonder if there's anything I could do for both of them in return. The Great Witch Bazella. Until now, I hadn't given it much thought. The Great Witch, the Legendary Fire, Flames, Inferno. Oh my, what is this? My head hurts. What is happening? The heck? Dark. <laughs> this town's one and only unsolved incident of magic. I'm sure she said something about an alchemist who lost their life to a witch. An alchemist was attacked? Hmm, that sounds like a serious case. You got that from High Inquisitor Darklaw, right? That's right. When I was searching for Eve last night, I meant to tell you about it, but it totally slipped my mind. Hmm. The only unsolved incident, huh? That's suspicious, all right. This might just be the lead that will take us to the Great Witch. Okay, let's get to investigating. We can do this thing. Yeah, so uh, I guess first we should check out the Inquisitor's Hall, right? We might just learn something there. Sure, let's get going. On the other hand, we may just learn how un unwelcome we are there. Hey, come on, Nick. Enough with that wishy-washy attitude. I didn't even say anything. All right. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, that aggressive bark, please tell me that isn't... Constantine. Aha, it's Constantine! He looks happy to see us! Wish I could say the feeling that was mutual, but once bitten, twice shy. That pretty much sums me up right now. Really? I don't know. I think he's looking much friendlier today, if you ask me. See, come on, Nick. Just pet him just once. Ah! This mutt really, really hates me! <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Sir Blue Knight, exactly what are you doing over there on all fours? Oh, Inquisitor Barnum, I'm glad to see you again. Actually, something we'd like to ask you about. Come on, Nick, stand up already. Oh, I'd like to meet that mutt's owner face to face. <laughs> How foolish. Constantine happens to be mine, and a, and a true knight's companion he is. He didn't waste time sinking his teeth into the likes of you. Ugh, I had a hunch. So Constantine really is your dog, huh? Gotta admire the nerve of this guy. He just sits back and lets his dog bite people. Or, I mean, me. Never mind that. What is it that you want to talk about? Just make it quick, Sir Blue Knight. See, Inquisitors are the ones who investigate incidents of magic in this town, aren't you? Yes, of course. If you don't mind, we'd like to ask you about that unsolved incident with magic. There's one thing you must never forget, the Knights of the Inquisition excel at their work. Alright guys, we'll be right back, stay tuned. <laughs> 